Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my YouTube page. Today, I want to talk to you about the biggest lifting mistakes that I see runners make. And so, if you're following my page here, or you're new to it. My name is Alyssa, and I run like a bajillion trail and ultra marathons, and I'm a big, meaty, heavy weightlifter, and that's the way I like it. And so, what I love is to take lifters who aren't doing cardio and teach them that cardio is important, but also to take runners and help educate them on the benefits of strength training for their sport or hobbies. And so, if you don't want to turn into a big powerlifting, heavy weightlifting lifter, that's totally fine, but you should be doing strength training to complement your endurance training, running, cycling, triathlete training, and will make you a better, more efficient, more powerful, more capable endurance athlete. And so again, you don't have to get big and bulky if that's what you want to do, but there's a few key mistakes that I see runners or endurance athletes making when they want to add in strength training to the routine. So mistake number one is thinking that lifting is going to make you bulky. It was not. Now I know that I have a ton of muscle, but I've intentionally tried to gain muscle and I've intentionally put this on and that requires a lot of food. So gaining mass requires excess calories. Now, some of you watching this, this isn't me advising you saying don't eat extra because you're worried you're going to gain mass and muscle. Some of that muscle might be beneficial for you to gain within reason. You don't need to hulk out to be a better endurance athlete, but don't be afraid to fuel that muscle and that gains because the muscle that you're gaining is going to not be so robust and so fast that you're going to hulk out really quick. And then you can make that discrepancy over time if you feel like you're getting too muscular or leaning more towards a strength athlete than an endurance athlete, depending on your goals and dictating that. And so it does take calories and food. So it takes a caloric surplus or extra calories or food to really hook out and gain and get really bulky, whatever you want to call it. And it takes years of deliberate intentionally trying to do that. So for most of you watching this, I can confidently say you're probably not going to hook out. Um, and if you don't want to hulk out and you just want to gain a little bit of lean mass to support your endurance needs, um, tone out as runners like to call it, then you need to eat adequate protein and enough calories to, to fuel your pursuits both in and out of the gym. So the biggest mistake there is to not fear heavy lifting. You need heavy lifting. Heavy lifting makes you strong, it makes you powerful, it makes your bones and tendons stronger, and it's going to make you a better runner. So on that note, mistake number two is runners using too light of weight. A lot of the running workouts that you see for at-home workouts or on the go, quick on time, are really friendly for you to be doing. And absolutely start with body weight or bands or light dumbbells if that's all you have. But eventually we wanna be moving towards more heavier weights over time. And so with that being said, it's okay if that's all you can do at home, but I would really encourage you to invest in a heavy solid pair of dumbbells and or get under a barbell if you feel comfortable or you have access to that in a gym within your training. And so a lot of runners will underload themselves and they will lean on doing just body weight bands because for some reason, the same marketing techniques that are given to women typically are given to endurance athletes. So you don't just need lightweight high rep lifting, you need heavy low rep lifting, the opposite of that. You don't need to be doing these really high rep body weight little circuit things. What you need is intentional strength training that targets all of your main muscle groups, your core, moves you through different planes of motion, trains your legs on their own, and gets you stronger and more capable for the demands of running. Running is a hard, it's a lot of high impact, repetitive motion on the body, and you wanna train and prepare the body to do that. So that brings me to mistake number three, is believing that you need to do high reps and low weight for runners so you can build long lean muscle or endurance tissue. And so I'm here to tell you today that you're already building tons of endurance tissue and stimulus with your running training. You don't need more of that. You need what you're not getting from your running training. You already have an incredibly oxidative demanding training. You're using your type one muscle fibers. You're doing repetitive strain and high repetition contractions at low load all the time during your endurance training. So we want the opposite of that in the gym. What you want to be doing is heavy squats, deadlifts, pressing, chest pressing, things like that, moving in these planes of motion. So you want to be loading those things. Generally, as runners and endurance athletes, you're doing plenty of high repetition. So you want to think about keeping your strength in that three to six range, maybe three to eight or three to 10 at the most if you need to do some work capacity volume stuff. But you really want to be training those strength ranges. So you want to be in that three to six range for your strength moves because you want to be loading and training your body for strength in the gym. And then you can keep your accessory stuff in a multitude of hypertrophy ranges, ranging from from eight to 10, 10 to 12, or even 12 to 15. You could be doing a little bit higher stuff, but I wouldn't go over 15 reps. You really wanna stay in that eight to 15 range, depending on what your goals are. And don't be afraid to lift heavy and do lower rates on those two. Your goal isn't to necessarily gain a ton of tissue. You don't have to worry about being in a specific hypertrophy range, but making sure that using enough load on your tissue so that you uh, get the benefits of that. When I say load, I mean weight, and when I say tissue, I mean your tendons, your muscles, all of that connective tissue that makes you a strong runner. Strength training is so important for runners because it really can help reduce your injury rate by doing these things. So that's why we really care about using adequate weight. 
for all of our moves in the gym. Mistake number four is not doing any plyometrics. So plyometric training kind of gets kind of slaughtered in the fitness industry as doing a lot of crossfit high box rep stuff. And that's okay if you want to do that. I do that too. I train crossfit child training. But what you want to be doing is if you are a runner, you want to be adding in plyometric training. So you want to be adding in things like even as simple as before your warm ups, you're skipping, you're hopping, you're jumping, um, all of those types of things to your training. So things like buck jumps, um, lateral jumps, single leg hops, skipping, karaoke, all these things that you do before you run, you just see like slight a little repetition of bouncing or bounding or rebounding type movements help you build elasticity in your tendons and your connective tissue that help both make you resilient and more powerful in your training, but also can make you a better runner within doing that. So if you're a runner and you're scared to start lifting, you don't know where to start and you want help, we would love to have you in the list method. My light program is great and complements all endurance athletes in their off seasons. And we have our 18 week race program that will help do these things for you and program them for you while you're in that peak running race building taper um, and volume block phases where you're doing a lot of running, but you need your strength training to complement that in a way that is manageable. We would love to have you in there and help you by setting this up for you. We will load you appropriately. We will figure out your rep ranges for you. And yes, we'll even give you your plyometrics to help you become a more powerful runner. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know if you learned something new and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And we will catch you on the next video.